Don't mind me. Just your bacon show. Georgia. Welcome to the Northern Knits podcast. We're two friends in fiber who knit, craft, crochet, and talk everything in between. It's episode 243. My name is Jocelyn and my co-host is Diana. We are recording late on a Sunday night. So guys, if you see me eating, I ordered sushi for dinner. Um, <laughs> It's been a day. It has been a day. It's been a day. And I have a very long week ahead of me. And my Amazon order did not arrive today. So I think ah. it's been a day today for me, people. Sushi is required. Sushi is required. So uh, that is what my day has been like. And I realized that I still have Discord open on the computer tab because I'm getting the Discord things in my ears. <laughs> nice. Woo! I made sure to turn off all of my distracting dingy things, including the thing that insistently wants to run scans on all of my hardware to make sure there's no firmware updates. It's pushy. It's pushy? I am figured out how to make it not start up when the computer boots up. Well, I cram in a very large roll of vegetable sushi. Why don't you let everybody know what we're going to cover this week? (laughs) This week we've got... Like, look at all those veggies in there. Oh, you're really i really want sushi now oh, oh. this week we've got what's in our cup cool threads woolly workings wool gathering and literature so i guess i'll start with what's in my cup um mm-hmm. while you eat your sushi uh let me just finish the stitch here tis the season for eggnog it is eggnog it's so exciting I may have put some rub in my eggnog. So, you know, it's a Sunday night. I got some eggnog. Got eggnog in my cup. Mm. Tis the season. Yes. I'm so excited. Oh, it smells so good. Guys, I drink a uh, vegan dairy free eggnog because that's Joss and friendly. And I can't eat eggs and I can't drink dairy. So, like, that's the stuff I need. So, mine is called So Delicious Holiday Nog. There's many other words, but Diana will have a link in the description box. And Diana, who drinks real eggnog, can tell you. It actually tastes good. good. It's it's actually good. I looked at it and I thought about buying it over the regular stuff. But the regular stuff came in a smaller package and I'm the only one who drinks it. So I went for the smaller package. Totally fair. So, and really, if you come home for Christmas, come visit me. I buy enough for the season in one go. So I still have a container and a half sitting in my fridge. Perfect. I'll help you drink it. Mm-hmm. Fear not. If you want rum, you got to bring that because I don't drink in this house. I mean, I'll be driving, so I probably won't. Yeah, that's fair. So we're both having eggnog. It's the season of eggnog. It is the season. It's eggnog so season. I did so not look excited. up the depressingly small number of days left until Christmas. Oh, uh, well, see, that's got to be 33 as of recording which means it's less as of release as of the release of this episode Uh uh it will be it should be an even 30 days are we counting to christmas eve or till christmas christmas eve counts for a lot of people okay well uh is it 30 30 days 29 30 days 31 days 29 or 30 days depending on if you celebrate christmas eve or christmas day i didn't do the math well really? this goes out on this goes out on the 24th of november so, so you have days. one month one month which is 30 days Good luck. right yeah cool yeah i think i can do a couch there for my sister in a month yes i mean it's me so it's like it's not unachievable but i'm still working on a sweater she didn't ask for one, but like her couch is so naked. There's no couch throw on it. Bothers me. She's naked leather couch sitting there. Oh, that's no good. It needs Dude, a blanket. Cover that, cover that skin. Definitely needs a blanket. This blanket. But it's a it's you a do pumpkin. some worsted hell double, like yes. Yeah, like a big bulky squid. It's not like my brother-in-law will use it. He makes me look cold. Like he wears his shorts and football jerseys outside to shovel snow. And his idea of winter protection gear is his boots and his mittens. With shorts. In minus 40. 
He is out shoveling snow. So like he makes me look True like I run cold. True in that one. That well, he's also like he's got a footballer body. <laughs> it's just big and square and gives off heat like crazy. So, but my sister's always cold. So like a big bulky couch though that her and the kid could climb under. Yeah. Might have to make a run to the grove to the Michael store this week. I think yes. I think yes. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've seen you pull off like a a bed sized blanket in a week. I think you did that once. Yeah, so, I did that to you once. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, that one. Absolutely. This one. This one. This single bed sized blanket that now hangs in the back of my chair that took what like a week, a week and a half. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, absolutely you can do that. That was crocheted. I should crochet it because then it could be nice and smooshky. Nice and smooshky. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Okay. I gotta go I believe back in you. to the store. Back to the store, gotta buy yarn. Okay. Problem. Hardship. Solved. Terrible. I am wearing cool threads now. It is minus eleven outside right now. We actually yes, hit, we have real, not hit that. real negative temperatures have begun. Uh, hence why Sunday night recordings now involve wet hair, because taking wet hair outside at negative degrees is dumb don't do it it's a bad idea and i don't blow dry my hair so we're going to uh, have wet hair feature it switches because like in the summertime i bathe in the mornings mm-hmm. but in the wintertime i bathe in the evenings it's weird that makes but. sense because you don't want to go outside with wet hair but in the summer if you do it in the morning it'll be dry in like an hour yeah whereas you don't necessarily want to go to bed with wet hair all year round yeah, I mean, like no one ever wants to go to bed with wet hair, but it happens. It happens. So uh, as for things that I've been wearing that are of the cool end threads, the Diana Mittens made a reappearance this morning. Yay. Because it's the right How's the thrumming on those doing? Do I need to bring some new thrumming? I don't know. I didn't really, I, like I didn't put them on and go, how is my thrumming? I went, I need mittens. Put my hands in mittens. <laughs> Fair. With okay. Well, all if, the if they need repairs. All the observational skills of an 11 year old. <laughs> this is a time where like for everyone I've ever knit stuff for, I'm like, just, just take a look at all the stuff I've made for you. If it needs repairs, let me know so that I can pack the appropriate yarn. Yeah. Yeah. So I will check this week and I will let you know. Uh, I've been wearing that because they're little gray thumbed, thrummed mittens with um, my cobalt blue jacket, which I now zipper. So we're almost ready for winter coats, people. I just... <laughs> my coffee shop shawl but I mean like half the time I'm wearing like my my sweaters like my cozy up knits simple hug underneath Mm -hmm. or my mallow underneath or you know like insert any other number of cardigans that I have sewn and knitted and stuff so I'm warm I just need the windbreaker layer which is what the cobalt blue jacket gives me so yep that's a thing so soon or later I have to move to the white coat but we're not there yet we're not there yet. Or the oh, new coat the... I'm making this week. Ooh, I'm so excited for this. We're in the awkward stage here where it's like, it's like five above, but it's windy and wet. Ew. So you need protection against the wet. Otherwise you get so cold so fast. Like it just sucks it's the wet. soul out of your body. It does. Damp cold is worse than dry cold. Hence why my But if you have too much of a layer... You can very quickly overheat because it's still above zero. Mm-hmm. You get sweaty, and then you open your coat, and then you're damp and cold, and your soul leaves your body. So yeah, it's uh, mm-hmm. it's an interesting balance. I'm still learning because uh, Winnipeg gets this sort of weather for like maybe three days a year. So like I don't, I'm still learning how to deal with damp cold around zero my veggie roll fell apart i want sushi so bad right now (laughs) i might order sushi for lunch tomorrow totally fair and i will take the blame for it no problem this was Uh. this one i'm working on is the garden roll so um, carrots celery lettuce and pepper that does sound like a garden salad in a roll and that's exactly what it is it does not stay together well but boy it's tasty it's my problem 
that's tasty. Can I finish the last four? Guys, I ordered five rolls for myself and added mommy beans. I was hungry. Finish these last four rolls. I've eaten it all. Probably by the end of the podcast. All right. So. Oh, I have some cool threads. You have cool threads. I have cool threads. Um, I was hunting for mittens, which I still have not found, but I did unearth my Katie hat that I completely forgot that I made from the Four Sisters Toot collection from Cozy Up Knits. How I completely forget that? forgotten about it. It took you three it was, months. <laughs> I know. That was our uh, knit along, what, two years ago? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did a huge thing and you did a toot. <laughs> In my defense, I, I hacked pattern slightly. Was that my f- first simple hug? No, that was not my first simple hug. I think I did one of the bigger shawls or something. I can't remember what I did. Yeah, I don't remember. But yes, I did a tiny little hat and uh, it took me three months and I almost didn't finish. I might have <laughs> still been a couple days late, but counted it anyway. <sighs> anyway, I unearthed that that I had forgotten about and I wore that a bit this week. Um, which was great because I uh, also wore it with just like a generic black hoodie and at some point this week I was having audio troubles so I put on like my big gamer headset on a video call oh my god the toque and the black hoodie and everybody on the call is like so are you streaming on twitch (laughs) and yeah so that that was the look for that day (laughs) It was a look. Crazy pants. Otherwise, I've been wearing my Rivers Wrap basically every time I go outside because um, it's 100% wool. And wool is magnificent in cold, damp weather. It is. It is. It is wool weather. I'm so stoked. Yep. I know. It's magical. All right. Um, I don't have any yarn on the go to talk about. Uh, Nor do I. So I believe that brings us to Woolly Workings. It does. I only have three projects. <gasps> okay, well, I have two, so yeah, you still it. get to go first. I have to put the sushi aside. I'm so full. So full. It's tomorrow sushi. French sushi. Would you like some sushi? sushi? I'll send it to you. Here, go have some sushi. I would love some sushi. Is that, is that just, can I just like reach through the... God, I wish. I wish the things <laughs> we would share. The things we would share. I'd be like, so I brought Tom Borgen coffee. Pass me a cookie. <laughs> I get one of those donuts that is a cake. So let's trade. Trade program. Oh gosh. We would totally do that. All right. I want to talk about my FO first because I finished a thing. Yes. Let's see the finished thing. Finished a thing. I'm even going to put them on. It's like a crazy pair. I have no space in here, people. None. None. I put mittens. Would help if I put them on correctly. I have fingerless mittens and they needed thumbs. And they needed thumbs. Did the thumb holes end up being in the right place? They were in the right place. Nice. Super good. Now, it's a light pattern on light wool with light colored contrast yarn. Well, it looks freaking beautiful in person. It looks fine. Oh, did I weave in ends? Don't be silly, people. No, we, we don't advocate for weaving in ends here. We don't know. We're not washed. We're not blocked. But strangely enough, when I took my thumbs out of my mittens, they fit better. <laughs> Who knew? This looks so good. <laughs> but here are my fingerless mittens. make some. They're the Maika mittens. Yes. It's a, it's a free Thanks. pattern. Diana links these things for a reason, guys. I do, I yes. I cannot pronounce... And spelling is 50-50. Grammar, I was at the emoji grammar stage before emojis were a thing. So we are done. We are on. Our thumbs have been attached. The wonderful and always patient and helpful, happy to help Aaron uh, picked up stitches for me. And they just said, don't do this on your own. (laughs) (laughs) Instructions received. (laughs) So they are color work. It's got a just nice, simple kind of flower pattern with some curly curly scroll cues that crawl up the front Gosh, and then the back so good. on your palms just have this nice sort of little square grid pattern. So I did it out of some alpaca yarn and one half of a skein of DK weight, less than half of a skein of DK weight 
contrast in Sargo, Sargo, Saguaro, Saguaro. It's the cactus. We learned that people. it's the the uh, cartoon cactus that you see in all the cartoons with the arms, the sort of like T shape with the arms. It's that cactus. I, be- I believe my reply is the only cactus I know about is the cactus I drank from his booze, but that was ages ago. <laughs> so there we go. There's the skein I've not started. I still have a big chunk of ball left. Like big chunk of ball. Big chunk of ball. Nice. So that's mm. which is good because they're turning into that uh, endless summer adventures shawl, the leftovers from my mitt now do i need to wash and block my mitten still yes it's color work it's still a little snug like it needs a washing it needs a blocking and the ends need to be woven in i can feel it it's just a touch snug in across here but i know this because mm-hmm. i haven't washed and blocked it yet yeah blocking should solve that blocking will less. solve that blocking will solve that no problem so that's that's what i have for my first day. oh i didn't do it no you're the only one there Unless the cat did it? Was it? It was me. It wasn't me. I don't know. Did it affect anything? No? Okay, good. I don't think just, so. Just pretend that didn't happen. I don't know what I left off. I don't know what's going on. Welcome to my world. Clatter, clatter. I think that was the lid on my sushi container. What I'm looking for is my shawl. There it is. It's on the ground. Uh, arms too. What's it doing there? <sighs> boobs too big arms too short that's part of the clatter what there's Is only so much thing? space between my chest and my ribs to bend over with <sighs> you know that problem it is your thing i got two more projects so you can go okay uh so last week i was approaching the heel on the sock you were. This week, I had a number of meetings, so I turned the heel on the sock, and I am now motoring down the foot. Good. Ta-da. This I have half a sock. Excellent. Oh my gosh, I've been missing vanilla socks, because I was so excited to work on the Diana socks, <laughs> and I just can't do lace in meetings. I just can't, no, which is very no. disappointing, but I can do back and forth knitting or roundy roundy knitting and back and forth for the heel because it's a short row heel no problem roundy, roundy roundy knitting is just perfect for cars and meetings and stuck on the phone and at the doctor's offices like that's perfect yeah. knitting when you want to watch anime and don't want to pay attention to what you're knitting <laughs> also that also that so this is the even heel sock pattern by Nikki Knits. She's running a knit along right now um, on Instagram, I believe. I don't know. She has a podcast where she talks about it, and that is linked in the show notes. Um, because I don't remember things. Anyway, I should have a... seen the number of takes we just had to do <laughs> for bonus content, people. I mean, some oh, additional, man. I was giving you additional um, bonus content material because now you can do a blooper reel of me failing to say three sentences in a row. I'm going to. Three sentences. And it might Couldn't be a Patreon it. exclusive. <laughs> fine. Nobody, I'm not perfect. It's fine. Anyway, Nobody's this is perfect. a short row heel that uh, now that I have done it and understand its construction, I think it might be a variation on German short rows. I'm also not thoroughly versed on German short rows. Um, I was going to go, so I think it might be German short rows. <laughs> I have in the past. It's just been a few years, so I don't totally remember, but I think it's a variation on that. So, okay. yeah. Okay. Oh, that works. So, it's made a very nice looking heel, if I do say so myself. You do. The say yarn so that I'm using. I do say so myself. The yarn that I'm using is a sock set from Fireweed Fiber Co. It is the Belted Kingfisher, which I think was September. So we've got the nice feathered yes. blue cuff contrast, um, which I did not think to do for the heel, but whatever. It'll match all. These socks are for Mr. Diana, and none of his other socks have a contrast heel either. Because, it's yeah. yeah, it's fine. Yeah, They have contrast cuffs and toes. And yeah, and then the body of the sock is all various shades from nearly white down to navy blue with speckles of an orangey red. And it is 
gorgeous. So nice. I love this. It's the red speckle that just makes this colorway for me. I, I love the orangey, reddy, brownie speckle. It's, it's just the pop speckle. Pop speckle? The pop speckle. I was pre-reading a thing. The moment anyway. I finally get this alpaca yarn off the Swift, it's still on the Swift. Anybody who's new couldn't find my ball winder one day. So I literally just poking, poking here at the bottom of the screen. My alpaca yarn is still on the Swift. I found my ball winder. I found it's it. still on the Swift. It's still on the Swift. See how well I'm going somewhere. When you're talking about Aaron yarn. Look, look, I got her Christmas colorway. I got a Christmas colorway. Just one? Fireweed Fiber Co's got Christmas colors, people. Look at that candy cane cookie. Oh, it is glorious. Look at What's that. it going to be? I mean, it's a sock set, so presumably socks, but is it's going it to be socks. socks? Yeah, they're going to be my Christmas socks. I've never made Christmas socks before. Ah. So this will be my very first pair of Christmas socks. The moment I have a Swift <laughs> to my yarn with. Will I use the mini? I maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have enough to do for my size foot. I cannot on a 20 gram mini get contrast toes, heels, and cuffs. I can do toes and heels or toes and cuffs. So I don't know. My two cents is toes and cuffs. I'm but, thinking toes and if I if I do it toes and cuffs, but it just depends like. Uh, I have a very pretty uh, pattern link that was sent to me for like a really nice kind of lacy Christmas sock that I might do. And in which case I wouldn't want the contrast anything because the decoration and the lace will be enough. So it just depends on what sock I end up making. And mm -hmm. I don't know yet, but this was supposed to be socks for the um, wildflower wool sock challenge this month. We're what, 22nd? month it's the 20 21st today yeah 21st today yeah so uh that's gone well for me that's, that's great. i mean if you knit socks like you knit or like you crochet blankets it should be no problem i don't i really wish i did but i don't i don't i do not i am like i am a moderate speed knitter if i focus and do stuff i can get a lot of progress done but i am a fast crocheter and there is decidedly two different speeds going on for that, guys. It's crazy. crazy so if you do a guys. crochet square a day for a year, uh, yeah, I imagine yeah, you get pretty fast. Speed. Yeah, pick up some speed. It's my turn. Yeah, it is your turn. Yeah. So attached to my Swift is my alpaca yarn, which now decidedly has a problem because it's wedged between a bunch of things. Oh, dear. <laughs> so that I can record at night. Well, I have my lamp, then the Swift is open, and then I have a stack of pictures I still need to hang on top of a box of Warhammer. That's but quite the stack. It's quite the stack. So it's not, it's not spinning anymore for the moment. Uh, I made a little bit more progress on my Endless Summer Adventure Shawl. This is one of my own patterns. I'm doing it out of the leftover DK from... The fingerless mittens that I did, so the garter sections are being done in the variegated cactus yarn, and then the lace sections are being done in the alpaca. Am I following to pattern? No, of course I'm messing around with my own pattern. I made it. I can do that. Uh, I am <laughs> sticking to the stripe rotation, though. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate first section, second section of the shawl, and then I'll go back to the first section uh, and go until I run out of yarn. So this thing could be like massive by the time I'm done. So this calls to work with DK yarn on six millimeter needles. So you get something nice and fluffy. And this is less and uh, fluffy. So you get a bunch of shape and drape and just nice epic squishiness going on. It does look very squishy. I want to reach through and go squish. You can come squish it in a couple of weeks. <sighs> That's not now. Well, I'm I know it's not now, out. but in a couple of weeks, I might be done. Oh, then I could put it on my head. Then you could put it on your head. Perfect. This is my life, people. So slow progress is made. Why am I making an alpaca shawl? I don't know. I find alpaca very warm for me, but here we are. That's what I'm doing. And I'm excited because I like alpaca. It'll be the minus 40 shawl. 
Well, it'll be the stuff to wear with my fingerless mittens around minus 10, minus 20 when mm, I want okay. something, but I don't necessarily want 50 million layers yet. Yeah. Because me. As always, my favorite needles on the planet, some Chow Goo Red Lace. Because Chow Goo Red Lace. Uh, yes. Yeah. I've Indeed. got Chow Goo Red Lace. Liz. Very nice. Liz. 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 The Endless Summer's Adventures is available on Ro- Ravelry, Lovecrafts, and the Etsy shop. So I have it in three places, depending on what you can use and what you can't use. I will endeavor to link all of those places in the show notes. Sweet. I didn't have Lovecrafts till like last week sometimes. So Lovecrafts is new or like the week before or something. I don't remember. What is time? Um, a construct. It is actually, in fact, a construct. You're up. I'm up. Okay. I'm out to lunch. Down, then. I'm out to lunch. Okay. Lunge. Okay. So for this sweater in a month challenge, because it is NaNoWriMo, which is write a, mo- write a novel in a month. And then in the knitting world, we have NaNoSuemo, knit a sweater in a month or crochet or whatever it is that you do. Yeah. So I'm knitting a sweater in a month. So we have, let's hold this up the correct direction. We have a back piece. Ooh, ah. We have a front piece. Ooh, Ooh ah. <laughs> actually, so it's really sad. good. Like it looks really, really good. I'm, I'm actually so pumped about this. We have so a front good. piece. Okay, and I'm with you. we have in progress, the other front piece. How are we doing? 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 Um, just oh, over halfway. You're making good progress on catching up. I am. I you're doing wanted so to good. Be done, I wanted yeah. to be done the third. I had allotted because each one of these is five sections, right? So I had allotted yes. five days for each piece. So I was hoping to be done in a perfect world. I would have been done this on the fifteenth. Well, yeah, um, but and then that never happens. Sleeves right now, yeah. but then I went to Ottawa for a week, so that that was not happening, and I did not yeah. account for that in my initial goals. So you know, fair, fair, fine. Um, so if we just you know add an extra five days on there for not knitting, uh, I'm only actually one day behind now. I should have finished this yesterday. So you know we're not doing too bad. You're doing great, and I had some extra time built in anyway. So I have one more pointy arrow section and one more two color linen stitch section. Okay. And then the bind off and then this is done. Oh, and then God. I have okay. two sleeves. Yeah. And uh, four fingers for <laughs> <laughs> two sleeves, <laughs> two, two sleeves, two sleeves, two and... sleeves. <laughs> and then I have to seam it all together, which you just know is going to take multiple days for some reason. I don't know how it takes you multiple days to seam things together. I don't know. Maybe it won't. We shall see. A weird quirk you have. I hate seaming. I'm not there to do it for you. I know. Uh, So I have to do that. Um, For the record, guys, I will happily seam things. That's not a problem. Like, I'm like, if all that's really left on your patchwork cardigan is the seaming you bring it with you when you come for the three weeks for Christmas and I will seam it for you Ooh, this sounds like a good deal (laughs) you know what my pay rate is you're in charge of coffee and carbs I can do that this is a really great deal okay bring the cardigan I will see that I will yeah pack that bring that with you it also means it'll take up some space all the way here so then you have space to put stuff in from the way out (laughs) Because it's just, it flat, packs flatter once it's made than its constituent parts. Yeah. That's how that works. Uh, what was I saying? After the seaming. Oh, and then they still have the, um, the top hem. and the bottom. I call it the collar and the hem. There we go. Top and bottom. The top and the bottom, which is just, it's like six rows of ribbing or something. They'll just be oh. very long rows because it's just all on, the way across. On bulky, I still... Two yeah. so, rows of bulky like, is like an inch. Yeah. So it's it's like 
I got to do a bit of ribbing and like, and then it's fine. I've been weaving in most of my ends as I go. So like I'll clean up all my ends while I'm doing the seaming anyway. And um, yeah, wash it, block it, done. Totally fine. Totally fine. Oh, you so, are on track. You could still do this. It's it's conceivable. So I'm totally allowing genius. that I might be finishing the ribbing on the edges on like December 3rd. That's but fine. still, yeah. that'll be like a sweater in a month. That's a sweater in a month because you started like, that's, like, that's like, isn't that crazy? And it's just such a proof of concept for you. It means you know madness. you can do it. You know you Absolute can do it. Absolute madness. Bulky yarn. Well, oh, that are like, yarn. if you take a look at like worsted, but you only do a color work yoke and then the rest of it's in the round, that's achievable in a month. You've just proven it. It's. Isn't that crazy? Sweaters knit surprisingly fast. I don't know why I put off knitting sweaters for so many years. I don't they're know not, either. They're, just... they're not that bad. They're just not that bad. Yeah. When we finally got to it, you'd be like, what in the world? No, we should have been doing this for oh. ages why have we been putting this off so long <laughs> like basic sweater patterns are just like tubes they're, they're just tubes. tubes they're just tubes they're, or they're rectangles they're rectangles and tubes that's it that's what a sweater is it's a rectangular yeah. tube yeah yeah i don't know why you and i put this off for as long as we did uh, i don't know anyway so the yarn that i am using my god my eggnog is tasty oh. So I found, I found my spinny thing after the uh, e-knit-in yesterday and somebody was oh, showing off their, their pointy spinny thing. I'm like, I have one of those. Where is it? <laughs> Turns out it was literally like right here behind me. I just buried it and stuff. <laughs> really? So I found it today when I was cleaning up. <laughs> so that's great. Um, the yarn that I'm using is Peyton's Alpaca Blend, which only has like 8% alpaca and is otherwise acrylic and nylon, which yeah. is totally fine yes it is soft and squishy and i think my mom will love it because in case you were not aware um this is a sweater for my mom which is why it's never going to show up on instagram because she follows our instagram but she does not watch the podcast so i can talk about it. but if diana sends me a bunch of progress photos and stuff i could do a post on youtube for her mm. i mean i yeah. can also just do a post on youtube you I, I have that technology <laughs> you could somehow i feel like it might not happen but the photos to me might happen <laughs> I'm gonna take some more photos okay okay <laughs> I haven't been sharing I haven't been wanting to share that because normally I finish these at like 10 30 at night and so like my progress photos happen in like terrible incandescent lighting yes so they haven't really been post worthy they've been like 11 30 p.m discord pictures like progress and like the lighting is crap it's really Really not good for actual social media post. That's fair. Anyway, so this is the toffee color, and then the contrast is a dark blue called Blueprint, mm -hmm. which has fuzz stuck to it. That's great. It's it does not look tweedy. It just or it is not a tweedy yarn. It just looks tweedy because I stuck it in some fuzz. Apparently, this is so warm. I need to hang it back up on the chair because holy, I'm overheating goodness that is so much heat oh my gosh okay oh that'll be warm my mom will love that at minus 40 it reminds like you you both run cold I feel like that was a really smart choice yeah she'll uh I imagine she will wear it for sitting out in the gazebo during the winter yes that'd look great so. it's a perfect place to wear that all right, right, I finished a row. <sighs> Time for the only way to get done is to get motor underneath my simple hug because I draped across the back of the chair. I am working on the moon bow slouchy knit cardigan. I have made pockets. 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 To help me because, oh my word. Even though it's bulky, even though we're nine stitches per inch, even though this is a beautiful free pattern that you piece together, I can't tell the difference in this color between the front and the back once I've stopped knitting on it. Oh no. <laughs> Cause it's too dark for me to see. I have fuzz up my nose. I'm breathing in fuzz from this yarn. It sheds like nobody's business. Oh my gosh. 
does that seriously shed? So I stuck stitch markers on the front and I left them there. So I could tell which side of my pocket is the front. I also did not do it exactly as per instructions. <gasps> I did the stitch count the way it was supposed to. I did the top the way I was supposed to, but I knit the first and last stitch of every round. And I knit my first pearl roll, pearl row. My first stockinette row, I made a garter row so that I didn't get that curling because I hate that curling. Mm. Yeah, so I did that. So I did some differentials, but it needs to go on my seamed vest. Hey, that's right. All three pieces are connected and finished. I may have been working on it while watching Critical Role this week. <laughs> uh huh. Because boy, this thing needed to be seamed and done. Are the ends woven in? Who are you talking to? Of course, the ends aren't woven in. No, we don't do that here. We've established this. We don't do that here. But I have a front, I have some sides, and I have it sewn together. sewn together. It looks like an actual garment. It is a vest. It's because there's no neckband. If I woven the ends, it's, it's a vest. <laughs> like when mom comes to visit, I'm gonna be like, do you like this, but without sleeves? So she says, yes, I will literally just make it and not make sleeves. Weave in the ends and give it to her as a vest. I'll make her her own. I mean, it does look pretty good as a vest. It's a pretty darn good vest. So, fits me great. Erin's already been eyeballing it because she's been by. <laughs> Did I make it as baggy as the pattern called for it? No, guys, I don't look good in, in super baggy. I, I don't look good in super baggy. I, I never have. Uh, Semi-fit or fitted works better on my frame. So that is what I went tend to wear. Go back there. Oh, it even made it on a chair. I did that from the viewfinder, guys. <laughs> that's, that's good. So here we that's go. I've got some sleeves still to do, but as you can see, because it's <laughs> three rectangles sewn together, my uh, arm starts pretty low. I still have miles of arm. <laughs> It's going to feel like less arm because my arm isn't starting up here. <laughs> I mean, that's a few less rows. So like, every bit helps. Every bit helps, people. Every bit helps. So that is on. It is done. I'm making mine out of some uh, Lion brand Impeccable, which is worsted Aaron-ish. And I'm holding it double so that I can get nine stitches per inch because mine's like a super bulky, bulky size. Cardigan, that's what I called for in the pattern. So... This is flying beautifully, which is good because as there, Diana pointed out, it's the 21st and there's 30 days in this month and I have two sleeves to do and we know how well I do with sleeves. Mm -hmm. So you're also going for a finish on the 3rd of December? No, going to get the sleeves done. The sleeves will not hold me back. There's, a, there's no critical role this week, but there is season three of Fruits Basket to watch. So I'm going to pick up stitches and then knit on sleeves while I watch Fruits Basket. Mm, uh, but I'm going to sew on pockets while I edit today. Oh, I lied. It's not the only adaptation I made to the pocket. I made sure the pocket was big enough that my phone could hide in it. Ah. So that once it's sewn, consideration. my giant phone could go in it. My giant sparkly phone sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle. So. Sparkle, sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle. So there we go. Done and done. Those are the three things I worked on, which isn't too bad because that was like a whole front panel in seeming this week plus pockets. Because I only had a back panel and I was working on my first front panel last week. Nice. Yeah, so. Progress. Twitter's actually go so fast. I can't yes. believe it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I can manage a sweater in two weeks. I can bloody well manage it in a month uh, we started with I the best intentions legit can do a whole sweater in two weeks i can seriously get a sweater done in a month it is doable and i know it's doable i've proven it the only problem is the constant con to talk about what i'm going to do for my two week sweater challenge in february with louise I'm like i don't know <laughs> i had one chosen but now i have options ah Cool, yeah, okay. I'm like, there's no way deciding this far out, you're actually going to stick with that decision. 
Oh, it's a really good, like, January 1st cast on. I've cast it on my sweater, guys. We're just going to do that in February. We're not talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're what not my plan? mommy. You're not my mommy, and my mommy said it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> cast on all the things. It's podcast content. Everything is the most dangerous thing now. It's like, oh, I don't really need to buy more yarn or I don't really need to cast on this thing, but it would be good content for the podcast. That's everything that we're working on. Mm-hmm. And then it's time for wool gathering for the weekly unscripted Patreon ad. Phew. That's you. I had an absolute brain fart and I was about to start reciting poetry. That's not the unscripted Patreon ad. That is the wrong file, Brain. Let's try that again, please. Holy. Twas Brillig, and you can support us at Patreon. <laughs> at uh, patreon.com slash Northern It's Podcast. Any level of support gets you access to our patron-only Discord server, which is active at all of the hours of the days and the nights and the times in between. There is early access to bonus content. There is the weekly, bi-weekly, experimental Tuesday blog post. Oh, I'm late. I didn't post this week. <gasps> Oops. I gotta do that. Um, what else have we got? Earlier, so the boat constant, we got the... Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting something else, but also there's the e-knit-in for the higher tiers of support, which is our monthly knit club, basically. Yes, and it is. The, Next one of those is happening on December the 11th. Uh, normally those happen on the second last Saturday of the month, but that's landing rather close to Christmas. So we're moving it up a week to December the 11th at noon Manitoba time. It's true. We are. That's just because whole oh man, guys. <laughs> it's that time of year. Stuff gets crazy. <laughs> the most wonderful time. No. It's, well, I mean, yes, but... Uh, we we don't need singing right now, especially not for me. Okay, I wasn't <laughs> going to tell you no. <laughs> As always, we super understand that budgets are a thing, and if you cannot financially support us, we totally understand. We can also interact and talk with us on the social medias here on YouTube, on Instagram, and in the Facebook group. There is the amazing moderator the Asa. She is in charge, and that's where she should be because it should not be left with us should should not be left with us so there's where we sit hey it's a thing i mean if you're a patreon member you get perks like there's the discord chat that goes all the time there's the posts they'll get the bonus content early like there's there's lots of things that go on that are patreon exclusive like we do random zoom chats for no particular reason also true just because we feel like it we're all sitting around home crafting and someone's like hey let's just jump on discord and chat so there's there's fun to be had but there's also fun on instagram and the chats and other things that go on so i think it's good all the way around it helps as far as things that are of the administration capacity side guess what december means live podcasts only so you can still watch whenever you watch the podcast or listen to the podcast that can still happen on youtube and the podcast catcher of your choice on your schedule it's totally a thing if you want to see us live and interact with us in the chat you're going to have to catch us in december's on manitoba time at noon on sundays because that is when we'll record usually Mm -hmm. and in december it's a hard noon (laughs) otherwise we'll put it off and it won't get done yes (laughs) Uh, I know us, me, you, both of us were bad for it. So that's going on. Diana is traveling, so some stuff's going to be a little el, uh, el weird. Yeah, I'm going to try to pick a flight that's not on a Sunday, but honestly, it's so weird. I don't know, because we thought we could just fly a flare out of this airport that is like 20 minutes away direct to winnipeg like we did last time but the last flight of theirs before christmas is on the 15th okay which is you know doable but there's no return flight until like february yeah welcome to discount lines 
yeah i don't know why they just like evaporate for a month and a half they just it might not be worthwhile for them to run that time they don't get enough people i i guess so um yeah we might have to be flying in and out of toronto and so that's just a whole other level of complexity and so you know flying is gonna be is a little woogity a little woogity a little woogity yes because at noon manitoba time you're mine <laughs> i will endeavor to make the flight not on a sunday <laughs> i wish you the best of luck with that the best we'll see <laughs> we'll yeah. see how it goes yeah so that's going on uh, we will try to do some other sort of just random lives in the month of December, I, depending on how the schedules work out and how things are running. Not for sure, like a Christmas live cast on or anything like that, which just might be some of us hanging out in Discord if we're free. But I feel like like a January 1st is probably a good one because we could do a bingo card, wrap up, start the new new bingo card for the year on the 1st of January. I think we could do that live. Yeah. Yeah, we can definitely yeah, do that. We can do that live. I so. know I definitely am booked for Christmas stuff on Christmas Eve and day. So your Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and Boxing Day are spoken for. Because you're sleeping Boxing yes. Day. I mean, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Just totally fair. I think Boxing, right is Boxing Day is Sunday. I think I it might be. Yeah. So I mean, we might be doing a live anyway. So yeah. So we'll, in any we'll, case, it's still spoken for. Still spoken for. So not a problem. But that's really it as we get ready to wrap up the end of the year. So give everybody a heads up so you can adjust your schedules. The only other thing is the winter gear cal wraps up at the end of the month. So finish up your color work-ish gear items. Hats, cowls, toques, mitts, scarves, shawls. You guys get the idea. Make sure that you tag them on Instagram and in the Facebook post with the hashtag NKP Winter Gear Cal, K A L. So the great, amazing Asa can find you. So I can do the draws for that. And then we will go from there, which means we get a month break until January the 1st and the uh, knit along for three months to celebrate our fifth YouTube anniversary, our fifth podcasting anniversary start i just i five years baby breaking my brain i was telling somebody at work about the podcast and like yeah we've been doing it for like whoa five years wait wait <laughs> that can't be right well no it's right let me do that math again our fifth year anniversary is coming up we've made no plans for the three months knit along uh yeah none None. Not a one. I have no we should, idea what we're doing. We should probably figure that out. And by this point in the year, I usually know what our cow's going to be. <laughs> I've picked It'll something, something. and gone, this will work. Let's do this. So uh, I'm going to figure that out for everybody and try to get you the info as soon as possible into December uh, because we all need it. We all need it. All right. I don't know if there's anything else like I'm getting ready to do the Imagine Landscapes known gnome along MCAL for the Christmas month. Are you going to join us? You know you wanna. Just need some minis. I do have a lot of minis. Just need some minis. I do still have like all of the minis from the advent calendar last year. And 25 days and you're not even knitting every day? There'll be break days and you're making a little gnome strong maybe depends if dep depends on the traveling and how much space there is in the suitcase that's for christmas presents i will um start randomly posting factoids about the info sheet to continue to tempt you i mean and we know how hard it is to convince me to do things not Pop, even remotely difficult <laughs> yeah i mean like one person like Aaron had the striped sweater yesterday and like one other oh, yeah. person's like, oh, I'm going to make one. And now I'm like, oh, should I make one too? Because the rest of us are like all a contemplating a striped sweater in the background, people. No joke. There was a pattern link. Someone mentioned it on the Discord chat. I expect to start seeing cast-ons for that sometime this week. Yeah, I... Uh, I sheep From there. all of us. <laughs> From all of us. All of us. I'm like, mm, I'll be I'm done with these six millimeters. Sheep. 
once I'm done with these six millimeters, I could do one on worsted. Heck, let's be honest. If I finish one of my shawl designs that I need to finish this month anyway, I have a free set of four millimeters. I could cast on a fingering weight version. So we're all making striped sweaters now. Apparently that is something that is happening to me. So, you know, that's where we're at. Guys, I'm 20 minutes from a knitting store. I could just go buy new needles. I could just go buy new needles. Mm -hmm. But I want to finish my vest off into a sweater first. Because I'm so close to finishing. I want to do that. I want to do that. I haven't lost steam on it like I have with the 8-bit sweater. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if that's it for wool gathering, then we're on mm -hmm. to literature and I've not been reading. Uh, we have a couple, well, one thing. Uh, we have oh. that code for uh, oh, Fireweed Fiber Co. We do. Yeah, Guys, so for you can save what, money. Yeah, what, what's the percent on that? I assume 10. 10%. Yeah, 10%. And okay. that's what we put in the code. So the code at, I believe it's fireweedfiberco.com. Uh, if it's not, the proper link is in the show notes. But the code for 10% off is Northern Knits 10. N O R T H E R N K N I T S 10. Yeah. You too can get Candy Cane Cookie Yarn. Yeah. It's just not her only not her only holiday, just my favorite holiday. No, there's holidays. like five of them and they're all gorgeous and I want them all. I want the other four. I want the other four, but I'm starting with this one. We'll go from there. Uh, yeah, so go buy Erin Yarn. Oh, she's doing a Black Friday sale too, I believe, right? Yes. I think she maybe? would, yeah, that was her, yeah, she was, the idea was to be up and ready for Black Friday sales, which is this coming Friday, so. Yeah, so Save go money, that. save money, buy yarn. How is this a bad side? Yeah, There's no so bad side. Go, Just win. Go, go buy amazing yarn. Go buy beautiful yarn. Go buy beautiful yarn. From anywhere. We from have everywhere. a slight obsession. <laughs> go buy beautiful yarn. I mean, probably not this exact one. I don't know if she has any of this, but you know, the other beautiful yarn. She's got a lot of options. She's got a lot of really nice options. So do the things, um, make the stuffs. Do the things, make the stuffs. And I think we've talked about all of the other stuff now. Okay, that's fair. I still haven't been Oh, reading. did we mention that we're doing bonus content? Yes, oh, several times. Okay, <laughs> okay. I saw a jumble in my brain now. It's getting late. It is late. We need to wrap this up. Uh, I've been watching uh, Fruits Basket. I rewatched season two because I hadn't finished season two. Now I'm watching season three. The long and the short of it was is it was put out as a single season anime well over a decade ago and enough of the fandom asked for it. It has been rebooted. So there is now three seasons of the new Fruits Basket and I'm just getting into season three. So so That's I'm what gonna have to go find that is what I'm hearing. Yes. Yes, you are. Okay. But that's that's been consuming my reading time. That in Ripper Street, because I've been watching that. And that's been on CBC Gem. I finally got caught up on campaign three of Critical Role. And we finished campaign two we did. the other week. We did. And then I watched the wrap up. Yes. So I am like all up to date on campaign two and three. Good, good. So I went back and started campaign one. <laughs> Did you start with like episode oh, one? Episode one. The, qual one? the quality is so rough compared to campaign three. Night and day. Oh my gosh. Huge difference. Huge difference. Still, but it's you watch them go over that first campaign and you're just like, yeah, I'm you're still I was saying books. Okay. Uh so last week I had almost finished the Poppy War. Yep. Um, for my book club that was the following Tuesday, I finished it about an hour before book club started, but I finished it. Poor part you finished it. <sighs> I thoroughly enjoyed Poppy War. Book club had some very interesting discussion because there's uh, quite a. I only know people's voices, um, but fair. apparently there's like two or three regular members of book club that are of like Chinese Asian descent and okay. so all this stuff is like they they found it extraordinarily tropey and like 
practically plagiarized from myths and legends of their culture that they grew up with. Yeah. Meanwhile, me, ignorant white person whose like most cultural exposure to this is like Disney's Mulan, the animated one. Oh boy. <laughs> Fully owning my ignorance here. Okay. Okay. Um, I found it exciting and new and like fresh and I loved it. <laughs> Like with mind find it just it's just because you don't have any exposure so it's the, if it's the first no. time you see the trope it's not a trope yet for you no it's not it was, it was it's absolutely the, it's not. the first time yeah whereas yeah, just some of the so stuff like, that you will will read you and i will read but if somebody who's like new to fantasy or science fiction reads and they go this is amazing and you and i go oh god the trope the trope <laughs> so having finished that one i needed a new audiobook so True. in my archives of uh, Audible, I found that at some point in life I had purchased The Way We Eat Now by B. Wilson. Oh, wow. Probably okay. shortly after we both read and loved Consider the Consider Fork. Consider the Fork, yeah. I think I bought all of her books at that point. She's a really so good I'm finally author. getting to The Way We Eat Now. So I'm only in chapter one. And um, I think I like Consider the Fork better because that was food history. Okay. And this one has, this one's like, like about the way we eat now versus the way we used to eat. Okay. And it's, I feel like it's got a little bit more of a, I don't know what better use, word to use than preachy. A more uh, it's lecture not, it's not styled. Right, yeah, like it's, yeah. that's not the right word, but. I don't know. The, the tone is different. It's not bad. It's just different. Biased. It's a biased tone. Could be. Again, I'm only in chapter one, so my opinion on this may change drastically. That's fair. That's fair. We're out. We're done. We're finished. Yeah, well, unless you, like, magically suddenly read a book. Not in the five minutes you've been talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? Sometimes you surprise me, so... <laughs> I secretly opened up my Audible on my computer, and I've not been listening to you. I have been, in fact, listening to an audiobook. I mean, <laughs> maybe you did. I don't know. I mean, I could. I have been listening to things uh, while we get on Discord chats and do stuff. I have had two sources of audio coming out of the same eardrums at me, and I've been able to differentiate between the two, but it takes a lot of brain power, and I'm knitting lace. So I feel like that's probably a bad idea. That's a yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm going to not do that. I'm going to not yeah. do that. And I am instead going to go, since we're all done, I'll say until next week, I'm Jocelyn. And I'm Diana. And no matter where your week takes you, don't forget don't to knit. Don't forget to knit. Guys, I tried to get her to do my part of the outro. She couldn't do it, so it felt weird. It feels so weird. I also, like, magically suddenly don't remember how it starts. <laughs> But you could probably <laughs> say you five could probably years. start it when I'm five dead asleep. years of every week. <laughs>